YouTuber Austin Jones exposed by his fans. So we already know that two girls have come forward saying that Jones asked them for videos. But now things have gone to another level, and a YouTuber that goes by the name Aurora Skies posted a video up on her channel titled Austin Jones Asked Me for Videos with Screenshots. And at the time of this recording, the video has over 28,000 views. Aurora starts off the video by telling us that at the time she was 14 and Jones was 23, and tells us that she was a huge fan and he was her idol. She had his pictures all over her walls and had his merch. She also mentions that at the time he had only 90,000 subscribers compared to his now 500,000 subscribers. So one day she took a pitch in one of his merch jackets and posted it onto Twitter. Then to her surprise he liked it, followed her and messaged her saying, thanks for the follow and asked if she could rate his new album. Then said that she looked amazing in the hoodie. So as you can imagine at this point she's freaking out. They then continue to talk about random stuff and the fact that she used to dance at her school's parades. And he then asked if she she could send him a video and he gives her his iMessage. And this is where things get weird. He gave her two conditions for getting his number. One, she couldn't give it out and two, she had to send him dancing videos. She agreed. But then when it came to sending the videos, she was hesitant. And it was after this he asked her to twerk for him and send it in the video. She said no because she felt uncomfortable. And I mean, can you blame her? She just turned 14 and a 23 year old was asking her to twerk in a video for him. That's just disgusting. It was shortly after that Alex Ramos and Damon Fizzy announced to the public that Jones was asking young girls for twerking videos and all the backlash started. After this came out, Austin messaged Aurora saying, hey, I just wanted to apologize for that in the past. I hope you're not mad. Aurora accepted his apology and said, please don't do this again to other people. I'm sure it hurts the people you do it to. It was after this that he posted the apology video on YouTube. She finishes off her video saying that now three years later, he's finally been caught and she thinks he deserves what's coming to him. Let me know your thoughts about this down in the comments and I'll leave the link to her video below. Hey everyone and welcome back to LP. Thanks for joining me on this Saturday. I'm Court McGinley. As always, we have a bunch of interesting news stories headed your race. Without any further ado, let's get into the news. Next, Kim Kardashian goes blackface for photo shoot. Yeah, as you can imagine, there's a lot of people that are pissed about this. In this ad, you can see that Kim appears much darker than she does in her KKW beauty line ad. This is probably a result of lighting and makeup, and maybe this ad campaign wanted a more tan look, but people are lashing out. People took to Twitter saying things like, black women get told to lighten. Meanwhile, Kim spends her entire career in perpetual blackface and is lauded for her beauty. Another Another person wrote, I love Kim, but that's deaf blackface in the form of makeup. She is nowhere near that dark. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this ad picture. Next, E. coli has been found in the US open water. The Washington Health Department released a statement on Thursday confirming that they found traces of E. coli bacteria in drinking water at a hydration station near the 12th hole at Aaron Hills. Luckily, as of yet, no illnesses have been reported. Unfortunately, there's a possibility that people in attendance so far may have consumed water from that station. Since this realization, the United States Golf Association has said that they will now be providing bottled water to fans at hydration stations throughout the remainder of the tournament. Yeah, I'd hope so. Next, America now officially holds the world record for the world's longest pizza. That's right, last week in California broke into the Guinness World Record book for making the world's longest pizza. The pizza was made at the Auto Club Speedway in Fontana. Its total length is 6,330 feet, aka 1.2 miles. That is insane. Before this, the record belonged to Italy. No surprise there. Their pizza was 1.15 miles long. I wonder who's going to attempt to take the record next. Next, a new mermaid cafe just came out and people are going crazy over it. First unicorns make a comeback and now mermaids. These mythical creatures are popping up everywhere nowadays. The cafe is located in Thailand and from the looks of it, it makes all your wildest mermaid dreams come true. If you love mermaids, then this is the place for you. I mean, for one, when you enter, they give you a mermaid tail to wear. Yeah, they go all out. And as if that's not enough, there are rainbow waffles, colorful drinks, and mermaid tail cupcakes. Yeah, this place is pretty much Instagram picture goals. Next, the first trailer of Olaf's Frozen Adventure is here and it's pretty darn adorable. This featurette will open for the new movie Coco. Now usually featurettes last close to 5 minutes, but this one is going to be 21 minutes long, which is pretty crazy. And one of the best parts is it's Christmas themed. You all know I'm a sucker for Christmas anything. Olaf's Frozen Adventure will hit theaters on November 22nd, and until then, here's a sneak peek. We're looking for family traditions. We make candy canes together. <laughs> Sugar Rush. You cut down a tree and then you dress its corpse with candles. Well, there you go. That's all the stories I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.